Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Asmaran and we are doing a lot of 49ers news. So with the first off in the 49ers news is Cole Jusic will support whoever's under centre for the 49ers in 2021. Uh, that's Kevin uh, Petra on the NFL.com. So let's have a read. Uh, most of the off-season, the 49ers uh, players spent time defending quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo, saying all the right things about their teammate and his ability to bounce back from another uh, injury-plagued season. When the Niners swung a trade and the number three overall pick to draft their quarterback, putting uh, Jimmy G's future even more in peril uh, at the San Francisco than it was three weeks ago. Unsurprisingly, the veterans who uh, are supporting Jimmy G after admittedly had to temper their comments, knowing a highly drafted signal caller is on its way to the bay. Uh, as it stands now, Jimmy's still on the roster, says Carl uh, Jusic on the recent episode of the uh, Fantasy Footballers podcast. So I statist uh, uh, so I. Uh, Anti expect that he's most likely going to start off the season uh, for us. Don't know that's necessary, the case or not, but it's kind of what I'm uh, envisionary. Maybe like the Alex Smith to Patrick Mahomes translation. Now, I could see that being feasible, but I don't know. We're just going to have to take it in stride, and I'm going to support whoever's under centre, whether it's Jimmy or a rookie quarterback. I think either way, we're going to be successful. Uh, early off that season, Jusic said he believed Jimmy G would be the 49 starting quarterback and spoke growingly about how the veteran doesn't hear the outside noise regarding his future. Jimmy Garoppolo can't help but hear the clatter now. The blockbuster draft seemed to catch veterans like Jusic off guard. Well, there you go. I mean, listen, we could see time in and time out all the time, right? Jimmy's starting. I do not lo like, I do not disagree or with Jimmy G again. I actually like Jimmy G. I do. I think he's a great bloke. You know, we've how long has he been with us? Three years, coming up the fourth. So, listen, he started off. I mean, imagine that. Let's go back in time when he first started. Reportedly, Kyle Shanahan did not want Jimmy G. He wanted Kirk Cousins, as he always, as he always talks about. Talk about fucking Kirk Cousins. That's all the guy talks about is Kirk Cousins. All the time, so that's reportedly probably is true because because he's he's banging on Kirk Cousins in the past, and even now through that post conference that uh, draft post conference, yeah yeah you know I like Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins is what it is. If he was that desperate, he could have had him for a bigger price than Jimmy G, but he didn't. So when Jimmy G started for us, I think it was about three or four weeks out because I think reportedly. Um, Shanahan wanted him to study the offence and then go with that and when he started we actually did well just not enough uh, I didn't think to get into the playoffs I think that was the sad bit and then the next season he was he was a lot injured so we didn't really get nowhere then third bang what did we do Super Bowl sadly we didn't win it but we got there I think that year was probably our greatest year going because not only did we have Great defense, great offense, but we had but the greatest coaches, coordinators, freaking out everything, management, the lot. It actually worked. That actually happened. It worked. So now, last season, he was out for um, an ACL injury. So maybe we might bounce back. You know, we can all moan, cry, swear, whatever about our team but we'll still back our team no matter what and you know that i know that we know that we all know that so you know i, I mean the amount of reports that's coming during the week saying that you know this rookie quarterback is going to be the start or this overall pick i don't really care about the overall pick. i don't think jimmy g cares about the overall pick no one cares whoever we get we get no one cares. I don't care who we get. Matt Jones. But the way that it's looking, it's not against Lance. It's between Justin Fields and Matt Jones. That's what they're looking at. That's that's all I've heard. The f like this first yeah last week it was all Matt Jones. Yes, no. Yes, no. Fifty percent like him. Fifty percent don't like him. This week it's Justin Fields is coming into talks. And now it's like the same thing. Oh, oh I think they're turning ahead to just, Justin Fields. Who gives a fuck? You don't know. Whoever you get, you get. Who cares? 
Who cares? As long as you get him. Either way, one of them, they have to, that. You know, they've got to think very carefully. For that person, that QB one one day will be our QB one. Will have a five. I don't know. A minimum of ten, maybe twelve year contract. The face of the franchise, the face of the 49ers, That's your guy. And that's what it's got to be. But I always back Jimmy G. Yes, okay. You know, like I said, he's a great bloke. Once he's injured, he's stuffed. This is why they're bringing in a quarterback. And I think he's got like a year or two left on his contract anyway. So I'm hoping that he's there improving, training hard to kick ass for us for the off-season or regular season. Like, you know what I mean? To kick ass for us for this season. Because I think we've got a big team to challenge. I think we are the challenge team that you're going to come up against. Big time. But who knows? Um, thanks for guy for watching. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Honestly. I think it's good that Drew Sick and the rest kill. You know. Back your man up. Jimmy's a good bloke. He can do it. I think he can do it. I think you'll know with the off-season. You know. You've got three. Is it three games? So you'll know what's good and what's bad and what's coming out. But. Yeah, um, leave a comment to me what you think, and um, yeah, I will see you guys um, on the next video.